My name's Alone and welcome to another Zero Tour episode and in this one I actually really want to get into uh, the Chambers of Zeric raiding but before that I actually need a bit of money. I have 21 mil and my loot tab right now is 26.1 million so I actually do have a decent amount of money but I want to get a Dragon Warhammer or maybe even save up for a Dragon Hunter Lance it is so insanely good at Ulm but regardless I do want to get more money and I'm actually going to farm solar for quite a while. I've actually already done some kills. I am on 278 kill counts. And uh, later on I will show all the loot that I've got when I'm finished with Soldra. But um, yeah, first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to sell some of these things and buy an imbued heart. Which I will later on probably sell when I'm going to do raiding. But uh, it will speed up the Soldra killing. Okay, sold some stuff and I got the imbued heart for 29.2 million. Okay, so here we go. This is going to be kill number 300. And this video so far, that means I've done 49 kills. Let's uh, look at the total loot for that. And I'm not nearly done yet, so I'm going to do quite a lot of kills. How fast was that? 131. Yeah, imbued heart is actually pretty insane, but yeah, 49 kills, 6.3 mil. So that's even without a unique. Solra is just insane. 98 ranged, meanwhile doing Solra. So uh, only one more level and I get another 99. It's the same with strength and uh, well, I'm going to be max combat very soon, I'm pretty sure. I mean, I'm going to be done with attack, defense and strength and ranged and then magic probably very soon and then after that all I have to do really is uh, just buy a lot of bones with money and get 99 prayer. Okay here we go this is going to be kill number 400 so I've done a lot of soldra now and uh, okay I need to get some uh, space in my inventory. Let's actually have a quick look at the total loot so far and the amount of kills that I've done. I have done a total of 149 kills for 18.8 .8 mil still no unique and I am going to keep grinding for it, hopefully I get one soon. Wait, uncut ruby. Let me actually have a quick look at the drop rate of this. I'm going to scroll down here on the side, on the internet. That is a 1 in 1433 drop rate. Nice. Oh my god, finally, Magic Fang, 5 mil drop, that actually took a lot of kills, I'm on 456, which means if I go here I have done 205 solar kills, I've got scales worth more than the Fang, I actually double the amount, so 30 mil now, and uh, yeah, I'm probably going to do up to 500 kills, I still have 44 kills more to do, if I get a second unique in that, that will be amazing. Oh my god, with only 7 more kills I get a Tanzanite Fang. Uh, I actually only miss the Onyx now, the Mutagens and the Pet for every single drop I think, which is just insane. Okay, so here we go, this is the last solar kill, what we'll get for the drop. Nothing great, but 500 kill count looks very nice and also it actually says I've only done 249 kills on the counter. But I've actually done 250, I started with 500 so one of them just didn't count. But look at that, 40.1 million almost. That's pretty close to a Dragon of Warhammer from 250 Solar kills. So it is time to sell this loot tab and also I think I'm going to be selling of course my imbued heart as I said earlier. Has it gone up in price by the way? I bought it for 29 mil. Oh it's gone down in price, that's unfortunate. But anyways I have some runes to sell as well like these Chaos runes. Uh, the Death Runes I'm probably going to keep, but uh, I do have the Master one, which is actually worth a lot, like 6.6 .6 mil. I'm probably going to sell that because I don't need it right now for the raiding, and I do want to focus on raiding for quite a while. And I can sell these Chinchompas and all that as well, so I'm going to sell quite a lot of items, and I'll get back to you guys with the current cash stack I will be able to buy raid items for. I am actually surprised at how low the imbued heart sold for. 27 mil, let's see what it actually sold for. 27.3, it sold for like 1.1 million under the actual price. I don't know why, but uh, that dipped really quickly. I only used it for like two days and it dropped like 2 million. But anyways, let's collect all of the big ones and... Oh, actually I didn't sell the magic fang. I left it in the bank, where is it? Oh, there we go, now I have to sell that as well. Let's sell that real quick and uh, see the total cash pile. Nine, is that 98 million or 96 million? I'm not sure. 98 mil I have to buy stuff for. So the first thing I'm going to buy is a Dragon Warhammer. Let's get that. It is current. Wow, that's a lot of money right now. 51.3 mil. So it's actually a lot under the average price. That's kind of scary. It might dip randomly. 
Okay, so here we are at the Chambers of Zarek, and this is my setup, this is what I'm going to be using, and the big things that I bought with the money is the Samuraki and Hasta, because I don't have the money for a Dragon Hunter launch, it's 93 mil, so I would have to spend all the money on that, I don't really feel like that's worth it. And I bought a Bandos chestplate, because you want to use it with an Arim's robe skirt, because of the switches, so I have the magic switch like this, this is my magic setup pretty much, and uh, then I have the dragon pickaxe, which I just used before I never sold, have the dragon axe, I also of course bought the dragon warhammer, and at last an elder maul. I can't actually equip it right now because I have full inventory, but that's pretty much all the things that I bought, and I bought the elder maul for tecton, I think it is. Uh, I watched a guide, by the way, and this is pretty much the higher end, but still more affordable gear set for raiding. And I'm going to take the first raid extremely slow, and the time might be like two hours or one and a half hour, I have no idea. I have an inkling of what to do because I did it on the Twisted League, but of course I died a lot of times with really bad gear there. And no, I don't want to talk to you. Uh, but yeah, let's see how my first raid will go with this setup. On my second scout, I already found a pretty good one. The first one being Mystics, then Apostle, and then Tecton. Tecton, of course, being a bit harder, but I have killed it once on the Twisted League. And then Mutalites, which is easy, Guardians, and then Thieving. I've never done the thing one, Thieving one, but I'm pretty sure it's uh, fairly easy. But let's begin this. Doing Mystics in the beginning, or especially in this room when you have all of them on you at the same time, is kind of rough. Uh, I know I'm not supposed to be standing like this and face tanking him, but I really don't know any any place I could stand to save spot. Maybe this one actually. No, it's still attacking me. Uh, but yeah, uh, I still have at least only one of them on me, and after that I can actually save spot them without having uh, all of them attack me at once. So yeah, this is pretty much what you want to do. You can just get them stuck on this. I did learn this in the Twisted League, and this one is just not attacking me now. They can randomly attack sometimes, like this. But it's very not common, so you can just pretty much stand here and uh, kill it easily. Okay, that's the first room done, and I have to pick up some seeds and all that, because I did use a lot of uh, ranging potions. I actually accidentally did that, but I also wanted some inventory space. I actually really don't know how to handle the inventory now in the beginning, now that I have so many items, so I'm just going to uh, build this one and uh, put some items in here meanwhile i just make some potions so i have some potions and stuff now and uh, let's uh, just quickly check this by the way the first puzzle is ice demon i have this now by the way and i actually did a mistake i forgot to get 78 herb lore which is just three levels and then i can get stronger saradomin brews but for now i will have to use these after this raid i will definitely get 78 but uh, yeah ice demon pretty easy room so let's try it i actually have no idea if this is how you're supposed to do it but i'm just attacking once Moving, okay, I missed that one. And he's dead, okay, well, that was easy enough. And now we have Tecton, which is for sure my biggest challenge in this one, except Ulm, of course. And uh, I am very unsure how this works. I mean, I did one kill on the Twisted League, but it was very, very, uh, very clunky, the kill. It was not smooth at all, but I will do my best. Okay, uh, I actually did that on the first try, as you guys saw, but uh, yeah, it was very clunky, and Overloads Plus is perfect, I can't actually make them right now, so, great. Now, muta now Muted Isles is a room that I have done before, and I am pretty comfortable with, but you never know, they can actually crit you for so much, but I'm really interested in seeing how good 71 woodcutting would be f will be for this. Um, okay, uh, can I please cut the tree? I've got one cut, okay, two cuts. Let's see how fast this is now. It feels like it's so slow. It took me so long just recently to do this, or just like a few seconds ago. Now it's actually starting to cut. Uh, some wood cutting levels will probably help here. Alright, there we go, that's the tree down, and now I just have to kill this guy, and then after that, I just range safe spot the boss. Yeah, blowpipe compared to the rune crossbow on the Twisted League, quite a difference here on the mutilated boss. Hopefully I don't get one shot here. Yep, very easy room. For Guardians, it's pretty much the easiest thing in the entire raid, in my opinion. All you do is just run to it, hit it once, and then you just run back. You run out to it again, hit it, run back. You literally just do this the entire time until they're both dead. Even though I had never done this room before, it was very easy. You just have to put 30 of the worms in here, and you pretty much complete it. You just open these chests, and you get them. That's pretty much all you have to do. 
So I'm going to be honest, I'm pretty sure I will die on Ulm, but I don't really mind the points for my first run. I've marked these, but I'm going to be terrible at running, and I'm not even sure these are the correct ones. And this is my inventory, by the way, and as I said earlier, I don't have the best brews, and I will need to get that. But um, yeah, I will probably die. Oh my god, okay, uh, of course no purple on that one, uh, 12k points, and that took me 1 hour and 38 minutes. But that is at least one KC done, and uh, well, I don't know if I'm uh, much wiser on all I'm running so far, the head running is very confusing for me. Let's see what the first loot is going to be. Oh, I actually got the ancient tablet on the first one. 6k pure essence, how much is that actually worth? 12k. But I got the Ancient Tablet, which is super, super good. I mean, I can't really ask for more than that, uh, because now I can teleport here with the Xerix Talisman. Okay, there we go. 78 Herb Lore. This will be quite a difference for the rating. The Saradomin Bruce will heal a lot more now, and uh, I actually had to sell my DFS for that, but it's not too bad. Okay, I'm going to be honest. Uh, an 5k raid points. That is not good. Uh, I am really bad at this. I mean, I'm not really that bad at doing the rooms. I got here in like 35 minutes, but then I just kept the dying on Ulm the entire time, which is of course a big problem. And running the head is super confusing to me. I watched a few guides of the 4 tick method. I really do not understand it. And uh, well, let's see what the terrible loot is. What is that? Adamantid or Yeah, that's probably worth like nothing. Do I see in the chat? Yeah, 87k, but um, yeah, I will uh, keep trying, but uh, learning the 4 tick method solo is extremely hard, I think. Okay, so third raid completed. I died twice at Ulm, and uh, yeah, I still don't know how to do the running mechanic. It is so confusing, but uh, at least I got 14 point 14k points, not 14 points. Um, but yeah, that's very bad, and of course it is a white light. But um, yeah, I'm getting at least a bit higher points, and <laughs> that was Snapdragon, so 200k was not too bad. But uh, of course I'm using probably more money and supplies than I'm getting in loot currently. With my current state of knowledge of raids, I really can't figure out how the head running mechanic work, and I don't want to spend like one week doing that right now, and I think soloing raids as a beginning is very bad. I, w I should probably do group raiding before I actually do solo raids. So I'm going to end the video here actually with 3kc, and the total loot by the way was worth 320k from those raids, which is obviously very bad because of my points. But um, I'm going to try to find groups for this, and in the next video I will hopefully do more Chambers of Cyric kills, but not solo. I just don't think solo raiding is very good when you begin raiding. But um, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy the episode, and at least I did learn quite a lot in raiding. I actually learned Vanguards as well. It is a very annoying room, and it took a long time for me to learn. But it was a room that I wasn't comfortable with, and now I'm fairly comfortable with it, which is nice, learning slow, slowly, but surely. And uh, if you want to see more of my content, and please don't talk to me right now, pause the beat. Uh, if you want to see more of my content, then click any of the video on the screen right now, and uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to know when I post these videos. Otherwise, have a good one, guys. Take care.